I wish to begin by paying tribute to our traditional leaders who have passed away over the past year. We mourn their loss and we would like to say on behalf of the people of South Africa that may their souls rest in peace. Some of our leaders have passed away due to the deadly pandemic that is still <clears throat> very much with us. The coronavirus has claimed the lives of over 2.5 million people worldwide and over 50,000 in our own country. I'd like to express my gratitude to you as the traditional leaders of our people for joining government to fight this pandemic. You were creative, you came forward with ideas which proved once again that working together is the best way of tackling the problems that beset our country. I was pleased that we were able to find each other and build a compact even around a very difficult and trying issue such as initiation. As hard a decision as it was to make, you agreed that we would suspend initiation in all provinces when the pandemic was, was at its greatest height. As a result, we were able to ensure that fewer people were exposed to the virus. When the regulations were eased and some schools reopened, you worked with us to create awareness around health and safety at those schools that were practicing. We remain committed to hosting the Presidential Summit on Land, and it is critical that we do resuscitate the initial plans to convene provincial engagements beforehand so that we can gain from the wisdom, not only of our traditional leaders, but of ordinary people on the ground. And this will give us a great opportunity to move beyond just sloganeering, theorizing, but to hear the lived experience of our people on this most important issue, <clears throat> which is in the end about nation building, social cohesion, but also progress. The institution of traditional leadership must be at the forefront of both land reform and the agrarian revolution that we must have in our country. The National House partnered with the Solidarity Fund to implement the Farming Inputs Voucher Project, which in many ways helped to mitigate the impact of the pandemic on traditional farming communities. I've further been advised that the Department of Traditional Affairs and the Department of Agriculture, Land, and, and Land Reform and Rural Development now have a memorandum of understanding in support of agricultural projects in rural communities. 